Good morning. Today we're going to talk about uh, flying objects. To begin our discussion, I want to tell you a story about a carpenter, a one-eyed carpenter. He asked his employer to pay for the damage uh, which was done to his glass eye when a nail he had been driving flew up and struck it. When he was asked how he lost the eye in the first place, he, he replied, Oh, the same way, a, a flying nail. Now, it's going to be a very dark world for this gentleman if uh, the next nail hits his other eye before he decides to use safety glasses. Uh, it may be difficult getting used to eye protection, but think about what it would be like trying to get used to a glass eye. There are two kinds of foreign particles uh, that can get into your eye on job sites. The first type is a uh, wind-carried material like sawdust or dirt or rust. Uh, although they're a bother, they're not as serious as the other type, namely high-speed chips uh, that go flying when hard material contacts another hard material. Uh, some examples of this are, for example, uh, a jackhammer uh, breaking rock or concrete, uh, drilling or scaling or uh, reaming steel, uh, cutting masonry products with a powered saw, whether you are doing it or whether someone else is doing it near you, uh, demolishing walls or ceilings, uh, striking a chisel or a punch with a hammer, especially if it's got a mushroom head on it, uh, using a powder-actuated tool uh, into steel or concrete, uh, cutting with a portable circular saw, and then also uh, molten materials, uh, soldering, uh, socket wire uh, rope end connections, or um, cutting with a torch. Uh, so these are all potential uh, hazards for us and they are things that can create flying objects. Now, if we're talking about eye protection, your eye protection, some of which can be safety glasses or safety goggles, uh, you can add to that face shields. If you have prescription glasses and you're on a job site, uh, they should have safety lenses in them and also side shields attached to them in some way or another, either integrally or added on after the fact. Each has a different use depending on whatever conditions exist for your particular job site. Uh, it's very important to make sure that your eyewear fits correctly. Uh, remember that proper ventilation and sprays can help to reduce fogging. That's sometimes the issue. We put eye protection on and immediately we're working. We start to sweat. It fogs up. It's very difficult. But uh, with regard to eye protection, and I want to give you some eye protection tips, let's consider these things. To prevent scratching the lens, take care uh, when setting your eye protection down or putting them away uh, for the day. Also, replace the lens or get new glasses when scratches on the lens become noticeable. Clean your eye protection regularly uh, and uh, make provision for how you clean it. Uh, that is with clean water that you set aside just for that uh, or uh, with some tissues or some lens wipes. Even you can get those. Those are available. Uh, so don't use your shirt or a rag that collects and holds dirt. It's just going to scratch uh, the lens. Then also, uh, find a few old pairs of glasses, different kinds that have nicks and scratches on them, and point the marks out to the crew, uh, perhaps when you are having a, a meeting. Uh, this would probably be something that you foreman particularly could take note of and make use of, and, and tell them that those are the places where debris would have gotten into their eyes if they hadn't been wearing eye protection. We all have plenty of old safety glasses around with pits and scratches and nicks in them from various objects hitting them. So, let's think about this. Uh, we make an emphasis all the time on wearing eye protection. We do that. We provide eye protection for you on site. Uh, it's something that you want to address personally. Uh, do not end up losing an eye as a result of the fact simply that you were not paying attention, weren't wearing your safety uh, glasses, your eye protection, and something happened. It only takes an instant uh, to have something like this happen and you end up losing an eye. So I hope that this uh, hits home with you today and you give it some thought and participate in wearing safety glasses and giving yourself good eye protection. Thanks very much.